Hey there everyone, time for another vlog. Um, I thought I'd do something interesting this week. There's always these little challenges that vloggers tend to put themselves through. Little things that have random variables that you can't quite control. So I decided to do one with my iPod. This week I am going to put the thing on shuffle and tell you the five songs in order of shuffling that come up. So let me pull this up here to where I've just got everything, every song, everything. I'll even turn this down, that way stuff won't actually play. But I will show you each of them as we go. So here we go. <laughs> and of course the first one that comes up is Jeff Smith's Foolin' No One from That's Gravity. See, now, the reason why he's on here is, well, obviously, um, Jeff Smith is one of my gateway Podsafe artists that I got into. This is his latest album, I think, that was maybe last year when he released this one. Uh, but him and Jonathan Colton are my two gateway Podsafe artists, and ever since then, there's been a lot of them. It would not surprise me if several Podsafe artists show up on this list. I've got a whole playlist of all the songs I've used on Samcast, that way I can keep an eye on them. Um, <laughs> this one's a classic. If anyone's not heard Lemon Demon's Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny, look it up. It's an old... I guess Lemon Demon is another one I would count as a gateway, although you never think about it because of how he did things. Um, Lemon Demon was a guy that did what were called animutations is what they came up with for them, which meant that the most absurd stuff would all be crammed into one video, and at the end of it you thought like you were done with a drug trip or something, I guess is the best way to put it. They were really popular back whenever I was in high school, before certain things like we have nowadays even came about. Um, but yeah, they were silly videos, and it's possible albinoblacksheep.com still exists, and you can find a bunch of Lemon Demon stuff there. I've never went to check it because it's been so long. But this was back when Flash videos were prevalent, before YouTube even existed. So it, it, that gives you some idea of what time period that was. Um, <laughs> okay, so I knew this was going to happen. There's some comedians on my iPod, too. In this case... Bill Cosby talking about him and old Will Harold on the Ninth Street Bridge. Now, Bill Cosby is one of my favorite comedians, if not my favorite comedian. It's hard to pick favorites, you know me. Uh, but, I don't know, Bill Cosby influenced my humor so much with his stuff. I, it's to the point in high school, because I loved the way that Bill Cosby danced at the beginning of the Cosby Show, my nickname in choir was actually Bill because I would do the Bill Cosby thing, and no, I cannot do it on the fly. I actually have to have the right piece of music that fits with that in order to pull it off, because there's certain little beats you lock onto, and that's how you do it. But, yeah, Bill Cosby's been a big thing in my life when it comes to sense of humor and stuff like that. Um, another one, still around, Chad Kachula. I, I never know if I am going to do that. That's another pod safe artist. Kind of a bouncy song, definitely look it up. If I was able to tell you off the top of my head which Triple M I put him on, I would. But I've done so many of them now that my brain just sort of melts, runs out of my nose a bit if I try to remember what Triple M. I, I mean, I remember the first song I ever played on Triple M, and that's about it. So that's my memory for you guys. I've explained that before. And finally, number five, <laughs> of course. Weird Al Yankovic would be my last one. A complicated song. So this was the parody he did of Avril Lavigne's So Complicated, I think was the original name of it. But anyway, Weird Al is another one of those big comedy things. On this thing, I have crammed every single Weird Al song that has ever existed. So he's one of my big ones. He, I know he can annoy some people, but honestly, I think if there's... One celebrity that I would love to interview at some point in my podcasting career, it would definitely be Weird Al Yankovic, and it may be because he feels like he's attainable. He's a very nice guy, down to earth, doesn't seem like his fame at all has gotten to his head, and he's just stayed the same guy he was whenever he began with. If you, if you ever want to watch an interesting behind the music 
from VH1, watch the Weird Al Yankovic behind the music, because he even jokes that his life was filled with such debauchery, of course, it had to have a behind the music, you know, full well knowing that Weird Al really hasn't had much controversy in his career at all, because he's just a really nice guy. There was one misunderstanding with a rap artist when it came to Amish Paradise, but that had more to do with the record company not telling him the right thing than him, if I've heard the story correctly. Um, but otherwise, so yeah, Weird Al is another one of those things. I think this is a bit revit. Tell you what, one more. I, I said five, but I'm going to go with six. So, one more. <laughs> of course, it'd be part of a Doctor Who soundtrack. The gridlocked cassettes from season three. Or Series 3, I guess, because if you go with Season 3, then you're still talking William Hart on it. Anyway, there's there's all those classifications that you've got to go, well, well, no, wait just a cotton-picking minute here. You know, it's, um, but yeah, so it got you a bonus six one, and of course Doctor Who showed up. So yeah, that's, that's how things go. But yeah, this is my five random songs from my iPod. And I think I'm actually going to try something out. There's this thing called tagging, where you tag people. So I think I am going to tag, let's see, Sloth in a Cup, because he's a new vlogger that I've been following, a friend of mine. He does, I don't think he ever reveals his name, so I'll keep that zipped up. It's up to him to reveal that. But so yeah, Sloth in a Cup. I challenge you to do this, and why not my good friend Donovan Atkinson? Let's see what sort of music is flowing there is. And I don't think you have to take up a tag, but, well, it's worth a shot anyway. I, I would love to see people like Lamar Wilson and OMG Chad do this, but I don't think the rules of a tag allow you to tag someone you don't personally know. Otherwise, I would tag those two, too, because I bet something hilarious would come out of them. But anyway, so... Donovan and Sloth in a Cup, you have been tagged. So, let's see what music's in your library. Hmm? And what about you guys? Maybe you guys want to take the Five Shuffle Challenge. If you do, then by all means do it and send me a link. I'll watch it, comment on it. I would love to see this thing take off. I don't really expect it to, but if it does, you know, hooray. So, that's it for this week. I hope you guys are still having a good week as usual. And if you want to find all of my other vlogs, you can go to tscn.tv slash vlog, and you'll be able to find them there. And until next time, just live a good life, guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye. This has been a production of the Samcast Network. tscn.tv What's your passion? <laughs>